Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this video we're going to be dealing with an error that um, we saw in the previous lesson and that is that the opponent still tries to fight the player once the player has been defeated. So, we're beginning this in the Player1 Health script and we'll create a type private and of type game object and we need this to store the opponent so let's just give it a naming convention of underscore opponent geo into the comments so we'll just say defines naming convention for the opponent's game object let's come to the void start now and we'll use that new variable so underscore opponent geo and that's going to equal the fight camera dot underscore opponent. Let's put that into the comments. We'll say set. We'll just copy and paste that naming convention in to the opponent from the fight camera script and now let's come to the void update we're going to say if open and close brackets underscore current player health double equals zero into the comments so we'll say if that variable equals zero We'll come to the line below and we'll say underscore opponent geo dot game object with the lowercase g this time. And what we want to do is send message. So dot send message, open and close brackets, inside the brackets, little speech marks, player defeated. Come to the end, close that line off. We'll break this up for commenting. And what we'll do, we'll say then send message to the opponent geo. Game object. To set the FSM finite state machine to player defeated. So let's put that in. And we'll save that off. That's all we need to do for the player one health. Let's downsize that. We'll come to the opponent AI and we'll come inside the enum. We'll create another variable in here. So we'll just use opponents defeated. And let's now come to our switch block. I'll just copy the last one and paste that in. Ch 
change that to player defeated, same here. Raw show is an error until we've created the function, in which case it should disappear. So let's have a lock. So I'm going to come just below the opponent defeated. In fact, yes, I'll put it here and we'll turn it to a public void. And what we want to do is just call the opponent idle animation function now if you have a win pose for your character obviously you could just create a new variable of type animation clip We've done it many times, we create that function and then you can obviously just put that into the actual switch state. So, let's just save that off there. And now we'll come to the play one movement. Now, this actually doesn't sh didn't show up in the video I did last time, but there were issues where the player's defeated animation would play, and then the player would jump back up if the opponent contacted the player again. Obviously we don't want this so we might as well fix this error now. And let's have a look. Player defeated recreated the function. And I think in this case we should be all right to actually remove this code. <coughs> so we are just leaving the one line where we stop core routine for play one FSM. So make sure that's saved, we'll wait for it to recompile, let's hit play. Again, you won't hear the audio for the game because um, you should be able to see on your screen I've um, muted the audio and um, this is just so I can speak to you while the game's running. Let's see if the opponent attacks yes so now I do realize that sometimes strikes can be glitchy uh, but we'll work on that let's just see so there we go <laughs> the player has been defeated the opponent has returned to its idle animation and um, that's one red error we'll need to fix. Obviously it would be nice to have a win pose but unfortunately the models that I'm using don't have that so I've just decided to return to the idol. I may change that yet. I may um, actually go to the demo animation, but well, it doesn't really matter. 
the point is that's an well actually two problems fixed and we need now to actually go ahead and uh, work out some of the bugs with the strikes but uh, we'll leave it here for this video as always i hope you enjoyed this lesson i hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now